hi welcome back to my channel this is emmy from Fantastic tv and from the title you already know this video i am a nigerian i'm an international student currently doing my degree in united kingdom in wales united kingdom and yeah i'm just here to give you you know a breakdown of the difference between you know living in nigeria and living in united kingdom you know in no particular order this applies to so many countries so um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please 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 kindly click on that subscription button because i took so much time to do this recall you know get this hair together and <laughs> sit in front of this camera so without further ado let's get right into this video <laughs> Now, number one point that anyone would know is power supply, guys. Even Ghana, that is just our neighbor, has constant power supply. So I don't know why this is such a big issue, but the power supply is so constant that you sleep. You, you know, even when you put off your lights, you can wake up in the middle of the night and you're not scared that there is no light. You know that if you go out to the corridor you're going to see light yeah so there's you don't need generator you don't need to buy fuel you don't need to worry you know about charging your computer my phone is going to get dead i need to charge my phone you don't need to worry about all that because even if your phone dies now you just need a charger and that phone is charged so that's one of the issues that we have that we have in nigeria that you will experience here in the united kingdom now another one guys i'm looking down because i wrote some points down another one is healthcare, guys um if you're a student before you come in they make that's one of the first things before you even apply for a visa if you don't get the visa they refund your money but they make sure that you pay for your health care before you come for the one year or for whatever period that you are staying in the uk or even any eu country or international countries they make sure that you pay for that now if you are not coming as a student there is the option of health insurance and that health insurance is so that it's cheaper and you know it's lesser for you to pay and there are just you know plenty of options for healthcare plus the fact that the healthcare is quality you know that when you need a doctor if even during this corona period guys i just chatted with my doctor on the phone my prescription will be delivered to me by tomorrow i changed my address online you know everything like it's easy for you to do anything but in in nigeria you know people avoid um public hospitals and go towards private hospitals and pay a huge amount of money you know there is no health insurance system in place there is no backup system to help you know things get better or to help you get better health care good and quality health care even the private hospitals you are scared of losing your life you know people die for so many minute reasons like um ulcer you know someone will die from malaria because the system is not good enough but i'm not saying that you know the system is 100 percent but you know they've reached that part where you know they've taken control of their health system you know it's centralized your information is easily shared and monitored and so they provide a better you know health care for you <clears throat> now another one is the people's attitudes guys this is one of the things i have had to struggle with you know you wake up in the morning you say hi to your housemates and they don't respond like i was living in a building where they were all you know um, british people in that building and just like few of them were friendly and even upon that there are some days where they don't feel obligated to say anything to you you can say good morning you know and they're not just in the mood so like seeing someone here you know tell me good morning or say hi to me feels like are you talking to me like <laughs> like i'm so surprised like seriously because you know you you like seeing that like seeing someone being nice to you here or being extremely you know um greet, greeting you and you know being warm to you friendly 
it's suspicious here <laughs> like seriously you know um it's not everyone um where i am it's more like a friendly place um it's a smaller city and you know life is not that busy so you won't see so much of you know um the kind of laid back attitude that you would see in other places like london where people are all busy and you know going about their business and don't give a damn about other people um, i'm happy that where i am you know it's smaller and you know people are more welcoming and friendly but even upon that there are limits to things you can do you know in niger where people will come and put their mouth in your business mm -mm. you can stay in your room for days your housemates won't give a damn even if they do if they don't see you you know pe people's things might lie down there like they don't give a damn they're not you know they don't come into your business and you don't go into their business so they are virtually on their own and you know, they just keep away they're not so into your face yeah let's move on guys <laughs> so the next one is obviously the weather guys don't mind that i'm wearing this i wouldn't wear this in winter period um it's a little bit sunny outside so the um the sun comes up and then it goes down a little bit that's why you know the video might be fluctuating the video quality or the video brightness might be fluctuating so um the weather is really different from that in nigeria so even with this sun guys i am still wearing my socks and my sweater is on standby you know my cardigan is on standby because it can get cold at any moment especially if i'm not active um i have like a double duvet i need you know extra warmth now the thing is when it's extremely cold here in the uk it's extremely hot in nigeria that's when it's like the hamilton period so there is a really really big difference in weather and even when it is warm <laughs> the warmness is like it being cold in nigeria yeah so it's just like so it's relatively cold you know yeah even when you're going out during um when it's sunny um you have to carry just a little bit of covering so that you don't freeze out at any point in time when the sun goes down now the area that i stay in is beside the beach so uh, there's a lot of rainfall and you know it's extremely windy and it's not as cold as if i was up north and you know because where i am is more like down south so it's not as cold uh, you get the drift right let's move on so the next one is the credit system guys they these people have made things so easy for their citizens like you could buy a laptop and you pay back within two years you can buy an apple macbook and pay within two years you can buy an iphone and pay um maybe five five thousand every month 20 pounds 10 pounds depending on how long you want it to last which is really really you know lovely you buy a house and then you pay back instrumentally you don't have to stress yourself about redrawing 10 million from the bank and paying it up up front you could pay that within 20 years of your life you could pay those credit system is really good and you know they monitor this thing so well that it, you can't run away because they track your housing they track your pay slips they track your bank accounts so um they're just so good with it so you won't run away but it's easier for you it's to me i kind of feel like you know it's more like you're under a certain kind of bondage because you feel obligated to pay these things back but apart from that you know it's easier you, you can't complain you know life is easier when you can get what you want and you know worry about the payments over the next you know years while you're enjoying your products now the next one is internet guys internet is bay you know when i pay for my rent it's bills inclusive so my water bill my utility bill that's just for a student but the internet is good you know when you pay for um, a one month subscription it will finish before it will finish before the time elapses you have your your one month subscription till the end of the month and it's 
quick like i upload my videos and within a few minutes it's gone you know that video has uploaded i am not scared you know of my data finishing or not working in certain parts so this is like you know data connection is the bay right now at the moment for young people so the internet connection is fast quick and reliable let's move on <laughs> The next one is convenience and services guys like i said earlier i have my prescription being delivered to me tomorrow i spoke to the doctor on the phone um the, there's a transportation system so if you can't afford a car you can use the bus to go to where you want to go to um you go shopping you can order online there's all the stores that are, have physical stores have online services you know there is online there is in store anything any option you want and if you don't like what you've ordered for you can return it back like they, they can't tell you no returns or no refunds no if i don't like what i bought some people wear the clothes and return like there's restrictions though but you know what i'm, I'm saying like it's easier for you if you don't like a service if you don't like a product you get your money back you know and you know the legal system is working so nobody will joke with you <laughs> they would give you back your money straight up the next one is um, i'm just going to mention one other one that you know has really really been <sighs> i've been struggling with it you know um being a minority as a black person i'm a minority here in the uk i'm not a white person so i am a minority I'm not originally British, which is even makes me more minority because I wasn't brought up here. I don't speak, I don't have that dear accent or that dear. <laughs> so I'm a minority. I'm considered a minority, you know, which is, you know, something that kind of breaks my heart. <laughs> you know, because in Nigeria, I am, you know, a fine babe. I am like, this is my country you know and no one can put me down because i was born there and you know everyone around there has a similar face has a similar feature but here i am considered a minority because of my physical features um i'm not going to dwell on this but we're going to move on okay it's not that nice for me you know i would i wish that you know i could be just part of a community instead of being considered a certain group of person but yeah the next one is difference in pronunciations and accents guys um i really tried you know to give them that accent but there's like anyone that comes to the uk and you know comes back having a british accent after a few days is faking it or that person just really acts well like acts really well like i have tried to get that accent but it doesn't work out for me and it's so frustrating because you know most times when you're making an important call when i'm making an important call you know booking an appointment online and i just have to speak to someone um, we go through so much because at times a person doesn't understand what I'm saying and um, sometimes I have to say A for Apple and B for this you know I pronounce my name no bong they're like sorry can you take that again please or I'm um, sorry I didn't quite hear you can you can you say it again and I'm like E for elephant N for nose <laughs> you know and it's it's so so frustrating and confusing because you know they can't hear me well I try I try my best to you know hear their accent but I'm sure they come across different accents every single day because there are lots of people coming to their countries so it's really a struggle you know getting into that accent you know and speaking having a British accent it's not been easy but yeah I just try you know to give as much fun as I can just you know um, hello <laughs> guys even if i'm called to act i can't fake it i don't know why <laughs> okay so the another one or one of the last points i'm going to give is security guys you don't have to look over your shoulder every single time if you feel you're not safe you can easily call up the police or call 911 or call an emergency number you know and you know they could just arrive or if they, they just have so many provisions for people to make you feel safe and um, if you're drunk you know there are lots of them that get drunk they like partying a lot if you get drunk you can easily call up a cab 
um, you don't have to pay the captain you get back home you can go get your money from the house if you got robbed or something so they have so many services you know that really really help out and you know they're just targeted at making you feel secure and safe and you know if anyone sees that you're not comfortable or you know there's something wrong with that girl walking down the street or something is happening they could easily call the police and then you know you, like they could come right away they don't have to wait for one hour to 15 minutes or even 30 minutes if they would come really quick so security is really a big issue here you know times i go to school and i come back by 1 2 a.m it's not safe it's not the safest decision but i have always gone back home and you know i look over my shoulder but nothing happens i go back home and you know i'm not scared that someone is by the corner trying to rape me or something which is really really good how was this video i hope you liked it i really tried to keep it as short as possible um if you have any other points that you want to add please add them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's anywhere around here guys <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel like this video give it a thumbs up share this video if you can and yeah please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this is any or enobong mm, the caravan girl that you know <laughs> is trying to forge giving it to you um thank you so much for watching and bye see you guys later bye